This is in response to Miss C's definitive ranking of high schoolers from worst forms of humanity to best. Just so you guys can see, this was her ranking here. It's, it's okay, but I would like to make some adjustments. I cannot fathom putting anyone else in this, in this bottom spot over there other than fall freshmen. They are just bottles of moist hormones, just bottles with discordant limbs and just unbridled humanity. They, the worst. That middle spot is undeniably second semester seniors. They are horrible to work with. Just, they're, they're great people. You know, they've become people. They've solidified into people, um, but the apathy, it becomes them. It is who they are. And Missy is totally right. It is infectious to the point where you're like, do, do I even have to come back next year? Finally, on the bottom down here, I'm putting sophomores because they are, they are better than freshmen. They are. Um, but they think they're so big. They think they're so old. And um, they've got so much audacity that they are, are carrying around in, in their eyelashes and Crocs. It's too much audacity. This next spot is for second semester freshmen. Here's why. These little, these little caterpillars have sprouted, emerged, if you will, from, from the chrysalis of the agony of the first semester of high school. And honestly, I think it's just a sense of relief and bonding, little trauma bonding with them that you're just so happy they're not who they were. They seem great. Objectively, they might not be, but they, it seems like it. Next up, we have juniors, and I put them there because they are constantly in a state of existential crisis, panicking about their future, freaking out at all times that they've ruined their lives with a C- minus on a paper. It's exhausting, but very useful for motivating. The only reason they're not at the tippy top is because uh, a coworker once told me that the reason they are also uh, much chiller to be around is because they all started having sex with each other over the summer. And that ruins them for me, so. Semester one seniors, a dream. It's just, it's, they're the best. They're super chill people. And all the kids who throw chairs at teachers' faces and assault them have been expelled. So it's like a gift teaching seniors in, in the fall, in the fall. And the only reason that we deal with them in the spring is because of who they were in, in the fall. So there you go. Those are my rankings. Let me know if Miss C or I were right.